I don't know if people look forward to State of JS uh, survey every year, uh, but it's been going on for a few years now. And uh, since five years of relative stability, many are beginning to question the status quo. Uh, there's, of course, there's new things that come up every year. And of course, this year was no different. And the State of JS kind of takes a look back. They do the survey, they calculate this data every year, and they get a bunch of responses about how uh, different front end frameworks are doing, where these people's backgrounds are from, and a lot of other things that um, would uh, maybe these sway people who decision makers. Uh, maybe they don't. Um, but the state of JS is a thing, and it does cause um, a lot of words to be said and a lot of thoughts to happen uh, every year. So, uh, as you can see, you've seen a lot of other uh, videos in this talking about the state of JS, and I did want to look at some of the things here uh, in here. So we'll dive right into the the front end frameworks part here, because that's kind of where the space that I, I occupy in these days. And of course, all the a lot of familiar faces here. We got React, Vue, Angular, um, Svelte is I don't want to say Svelte's new because it's been around for a while. Solid as solid has been around for a while also but and then quick is real to probably one of the the newer ones so um yeah this provides some uh numbers over time as far as uh how front-end frameworks are doing and of course if we take a look at angular we can see that angular has uh definitely dropped over over time so in the in the survey itself so we move that back there. Angular kind of started out when 2016, I guess that's when they started a survey, 68%. Uh, and if we take a look at where React was in 2016, it was at 92%. So, uh, and this these things are retention, interest, usage, things like that. So as you can see, Angular has definitely uh, declined over the years uh, in retention from developers. And that just means that uh, they've used Angular, uh, they would or would not use it again. And I think there's a few factors that, um, a few things that factor into this. Of course, if you used Angular a few years ago and uh, you didn't like the experience and if somebody brought Angular to you again today and that's your only memory, it's like, no, no thanks. Um, especially if you were around for uh, pre standalone components, pre new APIs, uh, pre uh, Angular kind of evolving over time. So, and even the whole thing of mixing Angular JS into this mix, I don't know if they still would lump those Angular and Angular JS together. Angular JS being the old deprecated framework, um, the precursor to Angular, and then Angular being the more the modern one. So. There was a point in time to where these were getting mixed up pretty regularly. Uh, so maybe some of that has been cleaned up here, but you can look and see through the different ways here, how Angular has kind of dropped over time. Now, someone asked me if I thought that, uh, or they were uh, saying they were kind of hesitant about where Angular is. And I was, I was saying that Angular is not going to go away. Uh, just because unless Google comes out and uh, sunsets it. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the experience that people have was pre-IV, um, pre, um, pre uh, and a lot of things basically got IV'd and, in that way. So uh, looking at this through the lens of that, I could see how some people would not prefer uh, Angular if they used it back then. But some people just aren't going to prefer Angular anyway, so. This is not necessarily for those people, um, but if you've used it and you had a decent experience with it and you kind of stuck with the framework as I have over these this time, then you'll kind of get uh, how these numbers are where they are. Now, my response was, to that was that I think that Angular will still move on just because, not because it'll be the most popular, uh, but because it, Angular is still evolving. Like they're still, making changes to the framework, improving it for the people that are using the framework. And 
along that way, you'll get some people that are, that'll switch over that are maybe tired of react that haven't moved to something like solid or, uh, svelte yet, but angular is still like that familiar thing there. So I think that angular will still have some, have a, uh, of course, a, a place in the, the front end framework ecosystem, even if it is a smaller audience, like the audience right now is more tailored towards enterprise and large projects like that. And these other front end frameworks have been, uh, people are using these in more startup like environments and things like that. So, uh, angular is trying to be like the framework that, that kind of grows with you. So we'll see, uh, if that's the case and you can see like awareness, of course, just about everyone knows what angular is as far as voting goes, but all the other like key metrics are shows angular in the decline. Um, but that is, that's not to say that angular is like in a free fall. Cause it has been some time where angular was, has uh, moved forward or at least ticked back up some in usage or in these other areas. So, uh, that at least shows that they are improving the framework for the people who use it today and the people that are using it in the future. Cause, uh, if they stop supporting it, then of course they're going to just drop all the way down to the bottom. Cause nobody's going to be, nobody wants to use something that isn't being maintained anymore. And that's definitely not the case with angular. So, uh, it, it is one of those things that, uh, people like to dunk on and everything. So we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll stick to just, uh, shipping things and, uh, angular is still move along as it, as it goes. So, and then of course these other tools, some of these other things I'm actually interested in like solid and things like that. So, uh, I may end up doing something like that, doing something along a video along those lines too, but, uh, angular still here, here today, it'll be here tomorrow and we'll see what the rest of the, the future holds there. Hey, thanks for coming through and watching the video. Uh, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. Leave a comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Tell me where you think Angular is going, if you've used Angular in the past, and where you think things are headed in the future. I uh, really appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.